Welcome back. Tonight, Vice President Harris will make history, becoming the first black woman, the first Asian American to accept a major party's presidential nomination. Her acceptance speech comes 60 years to the day after Mississippi civil rights leader Fannie Lou Hamer delivered an iconic speech to the Democratic National Convention's Credentials Committee. She was fighting to get an integrated delegation seated at the 1964 convention in place of all white delegations from the state. She also took the party to task for failing to support voting rights for black Americans, talking about the violence she and others faced trying to get the right to vote. 60 years ago today. With us now is South Carolina Democratic Congressman Jim Clyburn. Congressman, it's always a pleasure to see you. How do you see the significance of tonight's moment at the DNC, given that history that we just kind of highlighted today? Well, thank you very much for having me. Fannie Lou Hamer was an icon. Uh, I remember her very well. That was a 1964 Democratic Convention at Atlantic City. Uh, all of the blacks were locked out of that convention. Uh, and I'm glad you are talking about that today, because when you look at this convention today, you will see how this party has progressed over the years and compare what you see on the floor of this convention with what you saw on the floor in Milwaukee or the Republican convention. And tell me which one of them looks like America. That is what this campaign is all about. We have a party that, for some strange reason, trying to revisit those bygone days. They seem to want to take us back to what it was like in 1964. In fact, a member of the Republican Party in the House of Representatives stood on the floor about three weeks ago and says, I want my colleagues on the other side of the aisle to join me and going back to the 1960s with our policies here in this House of Representatives. That's the mindset on the other side. We are moving forward. We are going to be informed by that history. We are going to listen to George Santayana's admonition. If you fail to learn the lessons of history, you're bound to repeat them. We have learned those lessons. And that's why we have nominated uh, Kamala Harris to be our uh, standard bearer. That's why Timothy Waltz, a guy I know very well, will be a great partner for her. They will lay out a vision for this country's future. There will not be anything like our dark past, but as a bright future. That's what you're going to hear tonight. And that's what this uh, whole convention is trying to hold out to the American people. What do you think the vice president needs to do tonight that perhaps we haven't heard leading up to the culmination of the Democratic National Convention? Well, she was a part of a tremendous foundation, a foundation for the last three and three quarters of years uh, is laid out for the American people through our rescue plan, through our infrastructure bill, through our Chips and Science Act, through our Inflation Reduction Act, the PAC Act, the Safer Communities Act. She was a part of all of that. Uh, a very critical part uh, of the Inflation Reduction Act, especially that dealing with negotiating the price of drugs for seniors and for putting a cap on insulin. She is going to say to the American people, here is what my proposals will do for you. Here is what they will do for your family. And here is what they'll do for your communities. And when she does that, uh, like my dad used to do, uh, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, she'll be home free. Congressman, uh, how do you think the Democratic Party can maintain the momentum that it's had in the last month? I'm glad you asked that question, because I think that it's critical for the people at this convention and the people looking in from home to remember the, at, the atom floated around as energy out there in the atmosphere did not become effective as a bomb until it was harnessed. That's what we've got to do when we leave this convention. We've got to go back to our communities. We've got to get on the ground. We've got to harness that energy. Don't let it just float out there and target it into the communities so that they will be effective uh, and uh, as a, a, a explosion uh, on the, uh, November 5th.
You That's know, it. You don't have to do anything more but harness that energy. Yeah, and Congressman, thank you for bringing up the importance of history, a history that you lived through, but that is fundamental that all of us, regardless of how old we are, understand and know our history, because we do have Absolutely. to learn from it. Congressman, thank you for being with us. Thank you.